On 1950th Bikram Sambat, Chandra Samsher Jangal Bahadur Rana came to power. As soon as he came to power, he realized the need of palace for himself and purchased 350 rupees of land for the Singha Darbar at the rate of 90 rupees per rupee. Before the Singha Darbar was built, there was a water mill for grinding corn and wheat, etc. In the beginning, Chandra Samsher wanted to build a palace where he could live. However, he built a magnificent palace. Even if the palace was built, no more than 5 million Nepali rupees were spent on the construction of Chandra Samsa's palace because all the wood used in it was caught from Chariya forest near Kathmandu and the transportation work was also done by people who were paid by giving them enough food. Carpentry construction work was also done by the army, police and prisoners. Even those employed on wages were not paid more than 4 to 6 Nepali paisa a day. In between, meat was served them as food during their work. Chandra Samsa's expenditure was on nails, barb railing, pipes, iron, etc., which had to be bought directly from India. Since Chandra Samsa was fond of hunting and art, he decorated its wall with hunted animals and European style painting. Lamps and other decorative items were imported from Europe. When completed, it had 1,700 rooms, making it the largest palace in Asia at the time. One day, after the construction of Singha Darbar, Chandra Samsher took his younger queen, Bal Kumari Devi, with him and reached the top floor of the palace. Bag Darbar or Tiger's Palace was sent from there. Chandra Samsher said, Oh, Bag Darbar, and pointed with his hand to Bal Kumari Devi. Bal Kumari Devi said, Maharaj, if that is Bag Darbar, how about naming this palace Singha Darbar or Lion's Palace? Her proposal was reasonable to Chandra Samsar and a newly built palace was named Singha Darbar or Lion's Palace. After the construction of Singha Darbar was completed, Chandra Samsar formed a gathering one day and made a proposal before everyone and said that, from now on, whoever becomes the Prime Minister, he will sit in this palace. Therefore, I sold this palace to the government of Nepal today. Chandra Samsar sold Singha Darbar to Nepal government and withdrew 20 million Nepali rupees from the national treasury. Long ago, Janga Bahadur Rana kept rupees 110 million in the government treasury to be used if the country is in crisis due to disasters and etc. Chandra Samsar has withdrawn rupees 20 million from that. At that time, it is said that not even rupees 5 million were spent to build the Singha Darbar. Thus, Chandra Samsar made a profit of Nepali rupees 15 millions when he built and sold the Singha Darbar. There were nine prime ministers in Rana regime. After Chandra Samsar, Sri Tin Maharaj, Bhim Samsar, Juddha Samsar, Padma Samsar and Mohan Samsar all ruled from Singha Darbar. During the 29-year reign of Chandra Samsar, 28 years were spent in Singha Darbar and he died in 1986 Bikram Sambat at Singha Darbar. After Bhim Samsar became the Prime Minister, he moved from Tangal Palace to Singha Darbar. After the death of Bhim Samsar on 1989 Bikram Sambat, Juddha Samsar moved from Jaulakal Palace to Singha Darbar as the Prime Minister. From this palace, a special court was formed to hear the cases of Dasrat Chand, Dharma Bhakta Matima, Sukhara Sastri and Ganga Lal and their death sentence were decided. On 2002 Bikram Sambat, Juddha Samsar called himself Raj Rishi and became Sis and Padma Samsar was supposed to move to Singha Darbar according to the rules but he did not move. Padma Samsar lived in his own Vishal Nagar palace. On 2004 Bikram Sambat, Padma Samsar left for India for medical treatment. When Padma Samsar was in India on 2005 Bikram Sambat and before Mohan Samsar became Prime Minister, he moved to Singha Darbar in the post of Muktiari. In 1960 Bikram Sambat, Mohan Samsar's father Chandra Samsar made a rule that when Singha Darbar was sold to government of Nepal, whoever became Prime Minister would be allowed to live in Singha Darbar. But Chandra Samsar's own son Mohan Samsar broke that rule. Chandra Samsar did not become the Prime Minister but instead took the position of Muktiari and Padma Samsar went to India for medical treatment. Padma Samsar resigned from Ranchi, India on 2005 Bikram Sambat. Only later did Mohan Samsar become the rightful heir to Singha Darbar. 
After the end of Rana rule in 2007 Vikram Sambat, the office of the government of Nepal was placed in Singhadarbar. In 2009 Vikram Sambat, Singhadarbar came under the ownership of the then government of Sri Pats or King and Mohan Samser was ordered to leave Singhadarbar as soon as possible. Mohan Samser then went back to his own Lakshmi residence in Maharaj Guns. Since then, the Singhadarbar has been transferred into the Secretariat of His Majesty's Government. In 2030 Bikram Sambat, there was a fire in Singhadarbar. Efforts were made to save it from the fire, but that effort was not successful. Then, in order to save only the front part, the rear part was destroyed and the front part was saved. The rest of the palace was born to ashes. The historic Singhadarbar of Nepal, built during the time of Chandra Samsar, caught fire on 2030 Bikram Sambat and was completely destroyed. That artistic building that houses the Central Secretariat of Nepal was both Nepali pride and identity. In that fire, although there were no human casualties, a lot of material property as well as important papers and documents related to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs were burned. It is said that for the reconstruction of the administrative center of the country, which was destroyed by fire, 10 rupees were collected from every house in the country and was sent to Kathmandu. The earthquake of 12 Paisak 2072 became Sambat Suk Singhadarvar again. Even though the earthquake did not collapse the palace, the western door was socked badly. Most of the ministries, including the Prime Minister's office, are kept in Singhadarvar's compound. The most important government offices of Nepal are located here. Thank you.